Wyoming was built in 1909. It's the largest schooner. It's a five-masted schooner, and that is the Percy and Small. Six-masted? Oh, six-masted. Yes, I counted wrong. Six-masted, and it was built in this shipyard in 1909 is when it was launched. There it is while it's being built. And they actually have a art artwork out on the grounds that simulates the length of this because it was huge. It was a total of 450 feet long. That is the newspaper article from when it was launched. This is all done with rope. The front part of the ship, right here, and right here, is what is over here. Look at all the carving. This is a simulation of the inside of a tugboat. I think this is supposed to be the inside of a lighthouse, a kitchen or something. U.S. Coast Guard. U.S. CD. Oh, okay. U.S. Coast Guard. So, and there's pictures of lighthouses. Oh, we have a light running in the other room. This is a Fresnel lens. There's several Fresnel lenses in here. This one is 12 feet in diameter and has 16 sides, and it was once in one of the Cape Elizabeth lighthouses. Uh, there's two down in Cape Elizabeth. So this is a second order lens. There you can see as if there's a storm in the back. That's what it looked like when it was on the lighthouse. Scrimshaw, which is 
whale bone that's been carved and then they rub ink into it to make designs. Like you can see with these. And there is an ivory, well it's out of whale bone, uh, windlass. Mm-hmm. This is supposed to be if you're in the ocean looking up. Anybody want to hum under the sea? These are three shipyards and the story goes is this middle building here they were making masts and the one mast came out through the bottom of the building so it has flapper doors and actually knocked the trolley off its tracks at one point. And here, you can see inscribed on the floor, they would make 3D miniature models of the ship they were going to design. It was like a three-dimensional blueprint. This is blacksmiths for the, the ships. The original building burned down. These are the long sawmills. And they would put the masts and other boards. There's the wood over here. It's dark in here. They would take the wood from here and then it would go over to here. The windows were not there, it's just a pretty sight. Um, they would go here through the, the saws and then they would be rotated as, as the the masts were longer than the building was, there are flaps over in the front of the building here. There's Dave, but there's flaps in the front and they would go out through the flaps. And in one incident, one of the masts went out through that, went out onto Washington Road and knocked the trolley off of the tracks. You can get a perspective of the size of this thing when you see this man, but look at this house behind it and how tall that is. It's probably 50 or 60 feet up. And they said that the blacksmith was telling us that 
even though they built uh, metal ships or steel ships at this time just down the road at Bath Ironworks, it was more economical to run the wooden ones because it didn't take as much staffing. They only needed two men per mast. So in the case of the Wyoming, there's six masts. So it would be 12 people plus the captain and the cook. So um, yeah, they could do it with 14 people as opposed to a metal ship, which took more. Oh, blow the man down, please blow the man down. Tell me where. 